Okay, in this last part of the video, what we're going to do is show how to actually cross stitch the sheath together. So we remember we put the thread through the fourth hole down so that we know that's nice and locked in place. So if we just roll it over to the front side and the third hole down and pinch it into place and then poke the needle through. Now what we're going to do is align it with the second hole down and noting that the, the two threads are parallel to each other and poke that through, pull it tight and then align making sure that the gap between each consecutive thread is actually the same gap, about the same gap. Now when we come to the top one, what we're going to do is go through, take it across and then go through the first hole again and then pull that tight. And what I like to do is make sure that there's two, so this actually never comes apart at the top. And then make sure that the two are parallel, poke it through the first hole again. Now, pull it tight and then align the thread so that the, the cross of the thread is actually in the middle and on the weld and then go through the second hole down to create our first cross stitch. Do that again, align it up. You can pinch it into place with your thumb so we know it's going to stay aligned that through and again with the third and keep going now all we're going to do is align the holes again and just keep going down to the end and this is a little bit boring monotonous so I'll do a couple more and then I'll pause it and I'll start the tape again when we get closer to the end so we can actually show you what happens at the end bit and start the cross stitch back up again. So I'll just do a couple more. What I'm trying to do is keep the thread parallel to the previous one like that. Being careful. Don't forget that this is the the um, end going to be the end result. So the neater you do this job, the, the better the end results will be. So we'll pause the, pause the tape now, and I'll come back to you in a few minutes. Okay, so now I've stitched all but the last two. So again, like I said, just come in nice and parallel to the previous, and pull it tight, and again align it to the last hole go through and pull it tight. Now what we're going to do here is exactly what we did at the top. We're going to go around twice just to secure that bottom part of the the sheath. So on the second time round make sure the two threads are aligned nice and parallel to each other and go through and pull it tight. Now we can start a cross stitch on the way back. So again, align them in place, pinch it in, and through, pull it tight, align it so that the cross is right in the middle, pinch it into place, and then pull tight. Now basically we're just going to go all the way back up to the top and then I'll show you how to finish the the actual stitching so it actually locks this thread in place and it will never come undone. So I'll just do a couple more just to sort of show you. Nice and aligned, pinch it into place and through the hole and then pull it tight, line it. Go through, 
pinch it and tighten it. Right, and the last uh, last few threads, again, make sure it's aligned, pinch it in place, go through the hole, pull it tight, and again, the last one. Now, the very last one we're going to do on the next video, which will be how to actually lock it into place. But you can see there's one more thread, and that will just go over, and if we were going to continue we'd go through but actually we're going to do a slightly different process now where we can actually lock this this the rest of this thread in place so it will never actually come undone so we'll do that in the next video and it will be finished sheath then